Hello everyone, welcome to a new video tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can use our conference app with the MyPBX apps. We start at demo.innovaphone.com. The box is available for everyone to use in the internet and the login user is demo and the password is demo. Take care that you use the HTTPS page because we want to use uh, WebRTC audio and video calls and they will only work with a secure web session. First we have to generate two users. First user you can create in objects new. It's called Windows. This very name is Windows. Name is Windows. And the number is 30. Now we have a new user called Windows. And now we have to build a device for it. It's called WebRTC Demo. The device is called WebRTC. And we use config VoIP for use this de device to use WebRTC. The license has to be UC complete and here we can start the apps. The apps are already created on the PBX. I will show you later. We can give the user Windows the ability to use Conference 1, Conference 2 and Conference 3. Then we say OK. And we have forgotten to use WebRTC as a WebRTC device. And now we have already everything done to use. Okay, now we have to create a new user called MacBook. MacBook, MacBook. The number is 31. Password is 1234. And the hardware ID is WebRTC demo, name WebRTC. Config VoIP, license UC, apps, everything, apply, WebRTC, WebRTC. Okay, that's it. Now I will show you the conference resource. Here you can see a conference with a number 17. When you take a look at it, you can see here the rooms. There are three rooms already implemented. Room number one is only an audio conference room. Room number two is a conference room with audio and video. Room number three is audio, video and application sharing. Today I can't show you application sharing because we only use WebRTC and if you want to use app sharing you have to use the Windows launcher which captures the uh, desktop for the other participants of the conference. Okay, now we want to start a conference call. We start the WebRTC client. When we go to config, my PBX, go. Then we can say, okay, we want to talk in English today, start. And now we can log on with Okay, I think I have the wrong password. Object show Windows One, two, three, four. Ready. Okay, now we want to make a new test. Yes, now it's um, started. Here we can use the user uh, MacBook. You can find it in the directory. I can put it to the favorites and save. If I want to give the status of my client to the other one, I can um, show the visibility. An ad is for every user in the system and external and I decide that everyone can see my whole status. So I want to start the conference. I dial in the room number 17 and in the conference the room number 3 and when I start the call the browser will ask me if he get 
access uh, to the camera and the microphone. I say, yes, you can have it. And when I'm in, I have to take the pin of the conference in. Here starts the video call already. And um, if I want to get the front end of the conference solution, I can start the app for it. Go to the home button. Here you can see already the apps. If there are no apps shown, then you can click on the pencil button. Tick the front ends for the conference rooms, say save, and when I click to the everything conference, then you can see that I'm already dialed in, and here you can see the passcode of the of the conference. You can change it if you want, and if I start a second call with another user like MacBook dialing in the conference, now you can see that there is another member, MacBook, and here you can mute the member, you can set it as presenter, then the video session will always show the video client of, uh, of the partner. And here you can end the call. Okay, that's it. Have a nice day. Bye.